What if I told you that right now you have tiny organism living inside your body, influencing your brain? What sounds like something out of an 80s science fiction movie is actually a topic currently at the forefront of scientific research. Scientists are discovering how the microbes that live in your gut influence your brain. Your human microbiome has a metabolic capacity that exceeds the liver and these microbes produce molecules that can have effects all throughout your body. What we are going to focus on today is the critical connection between these microbes and the health and performance of your brain, the gut-brain axis. Through your diet you can influence the composition of your microbiome and research shows us that your microbiome in turn can influence your memory, your happiness and even your behavior. Here is one of my favorite studies that demonstrate how powerful this connection is. For an experiment, researchers used two characteristic extremes of mice. For simplicity's sake, we will call them the brave mice and the shy mice. These characteristics were defined by a so-called step-down test. A mouse was placed in the center of an elevated platform and the time the mouse needs to step down was measured. The brave mice usually needed less than 20 seconds to jump down, while the shy mice needed three times as much time to find the courage to do so. To identify whether these behaviors had anything to do with the microbiome, they fed the mice antibiotics to deplete their microbes. After they killed off the whole microbiome, they specifically reintroduced in the one set of brave mice the microbiome of the shy mice and repeated the step-down test. The results were astonishing. The brave mice, who harbored the microbiome from the shy mice, suddenly needed the same time to step down as the shy mice needed before. It seems like your happiness is also dependent on your microbes. People with depression often lack optimal stimulation of their brains with the neurotransmitter serotonin, our happiness hormone. Antidepression drugs usually aim to increase serotonin concentrations in the brain. However, what most people don't know is that 95% of the body's serotonin is produced and released by cells lining the gut. Tryptophan is an essential amino acid and the precursor for serotonin production. Human cells do not produce tryptophan. However, ingesting tryptophan is not the only way humans obtain this essential amino acid. Unlike human cells, bacteria can synthesize tryptophan. And there are even a few specific bacteria strains that produce serotonin, all which can be found in fermented food like yogurt, kefir or kimchi. A paper published in 2015 showed actually that the serotonin concentration was reduced by 50% in mice that lack a microbiome. Sure, depression is a complex disorder. However, resetting the microbiome with these serotonin producing bacteria could be a natural and alternative method of increasing happiness levels and maybe fight depression. Chronic stress can lead to many health issues such as stroke, depression, cancer or inflammatory diseases and it is well known stress upsets the stomach. But it also works the other way around. In a study published in 2013, scientists looked into the stress responses of germ-free mice. Germ-free animals are animals that are virtually sterile, which means they don't possess a microbiome. The researchers found two things. First, even without any stressful situation, the corticosterone levels, which is the stress hormone of mice, were higher in germ-free mice than in normal mice. And second, the germ-free mice had almost a two times higher stress response than normal mice after some stress was induced. Alright, go to the next video if you want to see studies that show how the microbiome can influence memory and how it is used to treat neurological diseases like multiple sclerosis. Also, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing to get weekly videos around the topics health and microbiome. Thank you for watching.